Welcome to Biomutant. Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. Pick your main color. Choose your detail color. Pick a class. Commando, Deadeye, Commando, Cyphreak, Saboteur, Sentinel, Deadeye, Commando, Commando Chosen. Sounds good. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. So glad you realize who you really are. Let's keep to the bright and better path moving on. You can't contradict yourself like that. You made the right choice to begin with. Why would you change your mind? Because you can't deny what's deep within your heart. Sometimes a thought is just a thought. In the end, it's the way you act that counts. But remember, this is just the beginning of the end. Eventually, it'll be my way or the highway. Guess left can be right, sometimes.
stories of death and the bodies left behind, a reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. This is not the time nor place to end this story. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. Get ready.
Oil sludges everywhere. For most, it only means death, but some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways.
emergency box from the once was a rare sight. looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress, blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Keep hauling yourself into the air. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. 
Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. So much damage. Nice shot. Slice and dice. Switched off the lights. Talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. That's the good stuff. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. Wherefore, where we? He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then, the night everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. 
to Farfarito, Tuka Kubu. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. Iboda Kelmok. How Lupa Lupin somehow left you alive after his raid on the old village. He must have had a purpose with that. The question is, what? Ba lu yualu tu lua ba volua. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Muma knows you are here. <laughs> Sounds like he thinks she does, despite your heart growing dark. There's nothing as powerful as a Muma's love. <laughs> He understands why you came all the way out here, to see them, the Potato People. <laughs> the Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> Magic. He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. <laughs> the Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it, see if you can make one come out of hiding. Oh. Huh. 
<laughs> You've found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Okay. <laughs> 